Welcome back or welcome to my channel, you guys. So today I am back with another, yeah, hair review. Today's video is sponsored by Beauty Forever Hair. They were kind enough to send me over this 13 by four loose wave lace frontal wig in 150% density in 24 inches. So yeah, and I just did this little wand curl look with it with some layers that I attempted to do and it turned out really cute. So if y'all want the deets on this unit, then keep on watching. We finna start with the unboxing, let's go. Also, this is not my first time working with Beauty Forever Hair. This is like their third or fourth appearance on my channel. So yeah, I'll link my other videos that I did with them right here but yeah okay let's start with the unboxing so this is what the box looks like right on top inside is the nude wig cap they also sent a little organza bag full of some goodies they sent some duck bill clips i'm really appreciating that y'all like these companies been sending me duck bill clips and i really appreciate that because they really don't understand how much i be needing them so yeah they sent four of those they also sent some lashes they also sent like a bandana paisley print head scarf it's like black and white i think I think that's black. It's not navy. Yeah, it's black. Black and white. Or is that black and gray? Y'all, I can't see. Anyway, they sent that. And they also sent a Beauty Forever edge scarf. Love that. I can't never have too many of those because I be messing them up. And they be getting dirty and get glue all over it. Even if I wash it, it's like the glue don't be coming out. So, yeah. Love that. And then, of course, you have your wig. It comes inside this Ziploc bag. Like I said, this is the 13 by 4 loose wave lace frontal wig in 24 inches and 150% density. It comes inside of a hairnet. Stuffing on the inside. This is the construction. Here's the 13 by 4 lace. It's got two combs in the front, a comb in the back, lace in the back, and an adjustable strap. And then this is the pattern of the wig straight out of the bag. Real curly and bouncy. Like I said, it's a loose wave pattern. And then I also brushed it out so um, y'all could see, I guess, with like the curls not being so tight like that. So this is what it looks like, kind of brushed out. I kind of frizzed it up a little bit. I probably shouldn't have did that. But whatever. I had to wash the wig anyway, so I didn't care. But this is the hairline, and I kind of tried to show y'all the knots right here. I did bleach the knots on this unit, and I plucked it so yeah if y'all want a video on how i customize my units meaning bleaching my knots and plucking my units before i install them then let me know in the comment section and i will gladly do that video for y'all but yeah that's it for the unboxing now we're gonna jump into the install and styling portion of this video y'all already know how this goes and then i'll give y'all my review on this unit so if you want to see all that then keep on watching
Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna come back and do the styling portion another day because I wanna curl this, but I don't feel like curling it right now. So I'm just gonna stop here. I'll come back on a different day, probably in a couple days. By the way, I know y'all can see this because my lace, obviously the lace isn't giving 13 inches. It didn't give me my 13 inches ear to ear because it didn't touch neither one of my ears. So yeah, my cap is just sticking out right there. The lace didn't even like come down far enough over here to cover it, but anyway, I'm gonna come back and style it because I have to film in a couple days. So I'm gonna style it that day. Yeah, because it's almost 4 a.m. and I'm tired of this, so I'm not gonna curl this tonight. So yeah.
right, y'all. So that was the install and styling portion. Now let me give y'all my review on this unit. All right, so let's start with the cat size because you know your girl got a big head and a lot of hair and I need that all to fit under my unit. So I be struggling sometimes with these units trying to fit. But with this unit, I didn't have any trouble with that. So she is big head friendly. Love to see it. The lace, the lace was easy to work with. And y'all, I don't know why, but for years I have been trying to get like my perfect lace color. Like I've been playing around with makeup, mixing shades, using my foundation shade. I know some people say use your foundation shade. Some people say to use your concealer shade. Some people say to use, you know, all different types of stuff. And I done tried plenty of things to try and get my lace to match. And it's like, it just always kind of seemed to me like my lace was still a little too light. And then when I try and mix stuff to make it match, then it was like a little too orange and all this here. So I finally got my lace color after like, two three years of doing wigs like i finally got the perfect lace color and found the products that work for my skin tone like so it's not too orange or nothing like that no weird undertones nothing like that but yeah the lace was easy to work with easy to melt y'all see the only thing about the lace as y'all can see and i showed y'all in the install and styling portion it is a 13 by 4 lace frontal but it's not giving 13 by 4 because it didn't touch either one of my ears it stops right here on this side it's a little more covered over here but over here yeah it stopped way up here and i got all this space right here and this is my hair right here sticking out so you know that's ghetto you know what i'm saying but it is what it is so it's not giving me 13 inches but it is giving me my four inches of parting space so you do with the information what you want to when i bleached the knots it did shed a little bit which is expected because you know i put bleach on it but after that shedding wasn't a problem after i washed the wig out and washed the bleach and i also soaked it in silicone mix and all that good stuff conditioner so yeah after that shedding wasn't an issue Issue, but I did get a little bit more shedding than I did before I bleached the knots compared to after I bleached the knots. It was also easy to pluck this wig. You know, I don't know if any y'all noticed if you ever had experience with plucking units or, you know, plucking different types of wigs. Some knots on wigs are real stubborn and don't want to come out and it'd be difficult to pluck. I didn't have that issue with this unit, so it was easy to pluck. The density, y'all know I don't do thin. If it's one thing, you gonna know about me. I don't do thin hair. So it's 150% density and it definitely is giving that and i feel like it's full enough like it's not too thin and it's not too thick it's like a perfect density you know what i'm saying so yeah the density is good on the unit and then for the length 24 inches so let me give y'all a length check and i did actually it ain't no point in me doing that because i cut layers like i said so it's really no point in me doing that but um it was 24 inches it was giving 24 inches in my opinion before i cut it but i'm gonna just show y'all like the longest because this is like the longest layer this is where it stops at on me it's supposed to be 24 inches so it's definitely giving 24 inches because it's right here even after i cut it so yeah pass the link check test really the only problem i had with it is like i said the lace isn't touching my ear like girl that's not cute and i was supposed to like it was supposed to be real cute on this side i was supposed to have the sideburn my little swoop going on right here it was supposed to be all melted plucked and all that good stuff and then i turn around and then boom like killed the whole vibe but anywho it is what it is but yeah that's the only issue i have with this unit so i'm gonna give this unit a nine out of ten just for that little issue other than that i rocks with it i like it she's really cute she's also really soft y'all i didn't mention that the hair is actually really soft and yeah it's just a cute unit of course it holds a curl really well y'all know body wave or loose wave type units tend to hold a curl better than straight units so it is holding these curls pretty well which i expected but yeah okay that's all i got to say nine out of ten for this unit i feel like the style turned out really cute so yeah if you want to purchase this unit for yourself the link will be down in the description box below as always and always be sure to check the description box for a discount code there usually is one down there so always check the description box y'all get you some coins off ain't no sense of paying full price if you don't have to that don't make no sense so yeah everything and all the details will be in the description box and that is all i got for you guys and thank you again to beauty forever hair for sponsoring this video well that's it for this video you guys i hope you all enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe to your girl channel please and thank you. And make sure your post notifications are on so you don't ever miss when I post because you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. So make sure your post notifications are on and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.